The following is a production of New Mexico State University. Hi, I'm Mary Meyer with the New Mexico Department of Health WIC Nutrition Program. I'm excited and proud to be here today to introduce our Family Health Television Series. The WIC Nutrition Program provides nutrition education, supplemental food, and health referrals for pregnant, breastfeeding, postpartum women, infants, and children up to the age of five for moderate to low income families. Our Family Health Series is a collaboration between the WIC Nutrition Program and New Mexico State University. These television programs provide support for families to develop lifelong healthy habits. If you're participating in the WIC program currently, let your local WIC office know if you have watched this episode today. Hello, my name is Lorinda Worth. We're here to do a nutrition, nutrition education facilitated session like you would see in your normal weight clinic, local weight clinic. Hi. Hi, I'm Jennifer. Um, this is my daughter, Bemsha. She's nine and a half months old, and she's my first child. Hmm. We've been breastfeeding the whole time. Wow. Good morning. Good morning. Hi, I'm Kelly. Um, I have four children, and number five is coming soon. <laughs> Um, I've nursed all of uh, my children and I plan on doing the same with this one. Hi, my name is Olivia and this is Sonia. She is uh, my sixth child. I've nursed all six children and uh, currently um, am a breastfeeding uh, peer counselor at the WIC office in Boulder. Hi, I'm Nicole and this is Chase and I'm a WIC client and she's my first and I am a new uh, breastfeeding mom, and I like it. <laughs> so what are some concerns that, that you have had with breastfeeding so far? Any questions about how do you know if your baby's getting enough breast milk? How do you know if they're still hungry or full? That's one that I get a lot uh, with the being a peer counselor, that um, how do I know that my baby's eating enough and is are they gonna? Are they having enough to eat? How can I measure how much mm -hmm. I can? The baby's getting, and and um, a lot of times it's it's difficult for them to really understand the measurement of, of, of you know the weight. Um, I like to bring them into the clinic mm -hmm. and um, have them nurse the baby, right. weigh the baby, nurse the baby, and then weigh the baby again, and they can see the increase mm -hmm. in, the in the weight. And, it, and it's it's amazing that they, mm -hmm. see, that. they see that. Mm -hmm. And what are what are some other things that you how how else can you tell if you if your baby's getting enough breast milk? What are some other signs that you would look for? Um, with with me, I was just um, I would look for uh, if they continued to cry afterwards. That would be a, a little bit of a concern to me. But um, mostly, I would just. Uh, when I'd go to the doctor, just to, if they were maintaining their weight or at least gaining a little bit, that kind of told me that everything was going okay. And if they seem satisfied after they've eaten. Right. Mm -hmm. right. Those are all good ways to tell if they're getting enough breast milk. Sometimes you can tell also by their diaper changes. So an easier way if you can't get a hold of a doctor or somebody is to see if they have six or eight wet diapers mm -hmm. in 24 hours. Um, they'll have two or three dirty diapers and normally if they're, you know, active and content, which all of them are, <laughs> it looks like they're getting plenty of breast milk. So those are good, good indicators. I usually <clears throat> let her, she's not on a schedule right now. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing. But right now, since she's so little, I just let her, when she cries or gets upset, and I let her nurse and then I just let her nurse until she, you know, either passes out or she lets it fall out of her mouth and she just doesn't want anymore. So that's how I tell, I can tell that she's, you know, done, satisfied. And that's another good 
indicators, they'll usually nurse eight or more times in 24 hours. And you know that that's a good sign that they're getting plenty. But that's that's good. Do all of you kind of feed on their schedule as they're hungry? Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, that's good. Yep. That's, the best. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's the best thing to do. Any, do you have other concerns about how to tell if they're getting enough breast milk? Anything else you would look for or anything you've heard of? I know um, my uh, two-year-old, um, there was a concern that he was um, in about the fifth percentile according to the charts that the doctor had. Um, but after talking to Olivia, you know, being that she's a peer counselor, she um, was telling me that um, babies that are nursed generally have a lower, uh, they don't gain weight as quickly. And so that was reassuring to me um, because at some point I was kind of feeling that maybe I should stop nursing in order to give him a better, you know, uh, more nutrition and after she told me that it kind of eased my mind that he was still getting what he needed. So it was pretty helpful then to have a peer counselor. Yes, it definitely is. That's good. good. Um, so how did any of you have any concerns, any problems with soreness or latch on? Did you have help with latch on initially? Or? In the very beginning, I, I like for the first couple of days I was sore, but I think it was because I was so full too. Mm -hmm. And then after that, and also she was having trouble latching on because neither of us knew what we were doing. Mm -hmm. And so it, it just took a couple of days to get used to each other and finally she figured it out and it was great. That's and we haven't had any problems. Good. That's that's pretty normal. Did, uh, did all of you find different experiences and how long it took for, for you and baby to get comfortable? Mine was about a week, like that I was sore, but I um, they gave me that the lanolin mm -hmm. to put mm -hmm. on my nipples, and also when I took a bath, I would put tea bags mm -hmm. on there, and that really helped a lot. And I also got these things my mom bought from. Um, Motherhood, I think it is, and they have, uh, what are they called, soothies, mm -hmm. I think they're called, yeah. and those really, really helped, because at first, for the first week, it felt like they were on fire, mm -hmm. and those just, like, kept it, yeah. Mm -hmm. Another thing that's helpful also is um, cabbage leaves, if you just really? put the cold cabbage mm -hmm. leaves inside, in, in between your bra, and it just really helps cool, um, Pull them down. It really helps. Did that help with let down too? It does. Mm -hmm. It does very much. So if you have soreness or, or engorgement, you can use the cabbage leaves, and that can be really helpful. Okay. Did any of you have any other concerns other than soreness? Um, maybe latch on, other latch on problems or issues, or it went pretty smoothly for all of you. Um, with my first one, um, it was it was difficult. Um, I didn't have much help, um, and I think if I would have had more help, it would have um, more information, mm -hmm. more people to talk to. Um, if I would have had a peer counselor, I think that really would have helped me nurse my first child longer. Mm -hmm. uh, we only went eight weeks with her, mm -hmm. and um, with um, the one right before her, we went for 18 months. Mm -hmm. So um, I think there's a big difference in just knowing what to expect and have right. somebody there just give you the support. Right. Yeah. Right. yeah, so yes. it's the support that makes a big difference. Mm -hmm. I found this exact same thing with my first, we uh, nursed about three months and it was pretty hard starting and pretty hard going. Mm -hmm. um, but as I went along and got more experienced, I nursed my um, last one till 18 months and mm -hmm. you know, it just kept getting longer because I was more confident in what I was doing. Right, so the information and support from clinics and peer counselors and friends and other friends, moms is really exactly. helpful. Exactly, yes. all, all of my friends have nursed their, their children for a, at least a year. Wow, and that's great. Just having that support from them makes a big difference. Mm -hmm. and just seeing that they could do it for a year. Yes. Yes. <laughs> wow. So how long do you plan to nurse? Do you have ideas or, or how do you gauge how long you will nurse her in the past and how long you did nurse your babies? I kind of, um, with each of them it was different. Mm -hmm. uh, my first was about three months and then we introduced the bottle and she found that was quicker. Mm -hmm. um, my second I went to about a year mm -hmm. and then the third was about two years mm -hmm. and then it kind of stayed that for the fourth also. So it was, um, I 
I think about two years is where I kind of feel comfortable going myself, but it's just my preference and where we were at that point in time. And that was too after you got support and more support yes. and more information and more knowledge. Definitely. Ah. Any ideas how long you'll? Um, I want to as long as she wants to. I'm not going to try to, unless she's like five ah. years old and, and <laughs> still wanting to nurse. <laughs> but, yeah. yeah. I want to try to nurse as long as I can. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's been a really good experience as compared to just sticking a bottle in their mouth and mm -hmm. just holding the bottle it's like you bond with your baby more I think mm -hmm. yeah, with breastfeeding so as long as she wants to then I will yeah. then I'm going to and any ideas how long you'll finish this little one um as long as she wants to um we, I went with my last one my first one eight months mm -hmm. I mean eight weeks the second one was was four months and then the 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 I had a preemie and he um, I nursed him I pumped and, and gave him him my milk while he was in the hospital for three months and um, the um, the the last the the let's see number four what number am I <laughs> number four he went he weaned himself to a cup at nine months mm -hmm. and he just decided he wanted it was quicker and faster yeah. for him and he just realized that's what he really wanted to do. Mm -hmm. Um, the last one I nursed her until she was um, 18 months and then now her we'll see <laughs> and when he went to the cup were you giving him then frozen breast milk Did you, you know what I um, I didn't store enough breast milk to give him and eventually I, I dried up mm -hmm. um, but he it was a gradual thing mm -hmm. and um, so I was supplementing some formula with him, um, but uh, he wasn't very interested in it. He, he didn't like the taste, mm -hmm. so it was more um, more of the juices and things like right. that. And, and, and so I would supplement his calcium with, um, you know, other dairy products so he, he could feed himself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good. Very That's independent. Good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, at first I was thinking, you know, a year, and then... I have just been enjoying breastfeeding the whole time so much that I'm thinking two years. Mm -hmm. But I think that, that when they can walk across to you and, you know, <laughs> your shirt, yeah. you know, I, and they're walking and talking, I think that's a little too long for me. Mm -hmm. So I think two years is going to, but who knows, when I get there, I might be like, well. Right. <laughs> yeah. so Some people do it, like, um, for just for, yeah. I know my mom did us till we were three, and it wasn't like a, you know, a, constant thing like all day long like two or three times a day it was just at night mm -hmm. or to take a nap just like for the comfort of it I right. guess mm -hmm. so yeah. so it's really just a preference then how long mm -hmm. comfortable with nursing change excuse me oh okay. I got it oh <laughs> So that when you used the, the lanolin cream, was that helpful? Very, That's very, very helpful. And was that, did you get that in the WIC clinic, the, the um, Lansano or? Um, my um, peer counselor sent me some from Berlin mm -hmm. and um, she just get, had the sample ones mm -hmm. though. So in the hospital they gave me a, a tube of it. I was reading in the pamphlet that they gave me at the hospital, uh, cinnamon. Mm -hmm. and um, let's see what else did they say cinnamon and I think there was another spice cumin or something like cumin? that yeah. that they said if you eat that then sometimes it'll upset their stomach and make them sick mm -hmm. like with the first time couple times when I came home from the hospital and I ate McDonald's she was not <laughs> oh she was very gassy <laughs> yeah, yeah. So some foods have you noticed any foods that your baby reacts to? I really didn't. I've heard uh, different things like if you eat garlic then mm -hmm. it makes your milk sweeter and that they might, mm -hmm. you know, enjoy it more. I hadn't noticed any troubles with any of the food that I right. ate. I was very fortunate. So it could so babies are different then. Some might react to foods mm -hmm. and some may not react to anything. I, I kind of so. felt with Brussels sprouts, I've kind of sworn those off until <laughs> after. Yeah. You know, we had a really gassy ex nighttime experience of being up half the night and yeah, that's just no fun. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So is it easy at, at nighttime? You just when the baby's hungry, you just bring him to bed and nurse, and you both fall back asleep. And 
That's what I do. Well, We've been I sleeping with her the whole time, and mm -hmm. it's just so great to have her right there, just roll over. And yep. Mm -hmm. yeah. A lot of Get people say it. don't do that because then they'll get spoiled or whatever, mm -hmm. and it's really hard to get them out of your bed, but I didn't listen to anybody because I would rather have her with me, especially if you're breastfeeding, it's mm -hmm. too hard to right. yeah. get up and get her from her bed if she's crying or... It's just a lot easier to have her right there. Right. That's why breastfeeding is so much easier. Mm -hmm. It's just easy access. Oh, yeah. It's fast. Nature's fast food. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> so what concerns? Do you have any other questions or concerns about breastfeeding or about your foods, um, soreness, any issues or things that you... Sometimes the tea does not work on me. Mm -hmm. Sometimes. The mother's milk tea? Yeah. Okay. And sometimes she'll just start crying like um, she's not getting enough, like mm -hmm. she's sucking and it's like empty. I know you can't completely like empty out, mm -hmm. but she's like, you know. She's maybe a little bit. Yeah, and I'm constantly having to switch sides and I drink the tea and I don't feel myself fill up for mm -hmm. like at least another like two or three hours or something like that. Mm -hmm. So I was wondering if there's an, like other ways to bring your mm -hmm. milk to me. Do you all have any, any sometimes, um Sometimes if you just let baby nurse a little bit longer on each side, then mm -hmm. the milk will come. Um, later on, you won't feel, have that fullness. You won't have that engorgement feeling. Um, your milk will just, um, you won't be as full. Okay. Your, your breast will be more soft and not, not as engorged. Okay. Doesn't mean baby's not getting milk. It's just that you're not as full. Your body's right. Your your body's regulating how much milk. So the your flow is a lot less than it would be if you're full. Right. You still have okay. your let down, but it won't be. Um, but you'll be less less engorged. Okay. I very That's rarely awesome. felt that the let down, the feeling, you know, the tingliness. I only do feel that every once in a while, and you know, Bemsha has always seemed to get plenty of breast milk from me. <laughs> Even when I don't feel really full, she's mm -hmm. she's seems satisfied. Okay. So that fullness tends to go away then after mm -hmm. after some time. Okay. Even if you're still. Yeah. All right. And and also if just if you're not relaxed, um, she'll pick up on that a little bit. So it'll, she'll be a little frustrated. She'll notice or she'll feel your tension. Um, so try to be as relaxed as you can and maybe have a drink of water or juice so that you stay hydrated. But that can be really helpful. Yeah, I do. I chug mm -hmm. lots of water. <laughs> that's good. Yeah, that's and that's important. one thing that I found um, mm -hmm. with the support that I, you know, when you sit down to nurse, take a, a drink of water, drink mm -hmm. a glass of water so that you're keeping yourself hydrated while you're nursing. Right. And that was really good advice for me. That seemed to make a, a big difference. A big difference. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Hydrated and... and, and comfortable, not mm -hmm. tense, would definitely mm -hmm. make a difference. Right. That really makes a difference. I find that when I'm, I'm on the, you know, say I have to get dinner done or, um, you know, uh, I have something pending, mm -hmm. it's like I don't relax, I just need to, okay, it'll get done. Mm -hmm. You know, just baby needs to eat now and, and it'll get done mm -hmm. later, yeah. you know. Yeah. We might eat a little bit later, mm -hmm. but, you know, it'll, it'll get done. Right. Yeah, it's important to feed them when they're hungry. When <laughs> they get frustrated, it's harder, I think. Yeah, they're they're an anxious and frustrated and crying, and they may not latch on as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, any other questions or concerns that you might have? No. No? Well, to summarize, if you if you were all talking to a new mom or someone that was just about to deliver. What are some things that you would you would tell her, talk to her about, to encourage her to, to at least try to breastfeed, um, to to give it a shot? It's the best food for your baby. It's right there. You don't have to get up and mix bottles in the middle of the night, or you know, make sure that you have formula in the cupboard, mm -hmm. and uh, you're doing something great for them that will affect them for the rest of their lives. Mm -hmm. Anything else that we talked about that might you might share with a new mom uh, to encourage her to start breastfeeding or try breastfeeding? Definitely the bonding. 
Mm -hmm. uh, the time that you spend is, yeah. you know, very high quality. Mm -hmm. I think that there's, you know, there is a, a bond, a connection that you get with your baby that you can't get in in other ways. Mm -hmm. You know, there, not to say that that it's, you know, it's just there's something there that you get when you nurse that you don't get in other ways. Mm -hmm. Okay, and anything else? I think. Um, you know, for one, the expense factor. It's it's a lot cheaper to to nurse your baby, and um, and if you don't have that, um, um, it's okay, sweetheart. <laughs> so it's definitely cheaper. And the bonding experience is important. And yeah. My sister-in-law was not gonna breastfeed. Well, she wasn't considering that mm -hmm. she was just going to automatically go to bottle mm -hmm. and um, I talked her into it and the only reason I know so much about it is because my mom would tell me you know she told me she breastfed all of us and um, it was she said it was like one of the best experiences that she could ever have not only the bonding but that it, it, it's a lot I don't know. It's, of course, cheaper. It helps with their eye and their brain development. Um, they don't gain as much weight. They have, There's a lot less chances that of obesity and stuff like that. And um, it, I don't know, best I've heard or whatever, facts and stuff that I've read and books and stuff, that they do um, start to do stuff a lot faster than bottle fed babies like I've noticed she tries to she pretty much can already and did when she I brought her home from the hospital hold her own head up mm -hmm. and look around and so, hear a noise like across the room and try to look for it mm -hmm. and you know like I've seen I don't know not that formula babies aren't smart but that they're just like not slow, the they're not as advanced, mm -hmm. I guess you could say. I've seen, you know, mm -hmm. like a lot less advanced babies, so I'm not. So she's developing pretty, yeah, pretty quickly. That's, that's what I told her. I was like, it's, it's about the bond, and mm -hmm. it just seems like it, you know, it has everything. And then the, um, the colostrum mm -hmm. to, for their all their immunities right. and everything like that. Because when they're that little, you really don't want them to get sick and mm -hmm. formula. You can't, you know what I mean? Because when you put them in the colostrum, it, they get all your immunities, right. you know? Mm -hmm. And it's like all the vitamins and stuff like that that they need, and you can't get that from formula. Right. So I just, like, pretty much talked her into it. Like, I, That's good. <laughs> and That's she's, good. I think she's going to now. I think, it's, I think another, um, I think another plus that, um, that women don't think about it, is it helps your body heal faster after you have your baby and lose weight and lose the weight um, you're burning so many calories trying to produce this milk with nutrition for your baby that uh, it really um, I mean you just really lose your weight a lot faster and um, you you heal faster mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. that's jam yeah well, that's great any other last comments mm -hmm. no well, thank you for sharing. And I would like to wrap up that with our instructions. Thank you and have a good day. That was good. That's good. That's yeah, good. we're pretty good. She's <laughs> fast asleep again. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Just wanted a little snack. Yeah. She's tired. She's dreaming. She's <laughs> dreaming <laughs> She's <laughs> moving around. <laughs> Mew got to go play outside. <laughs> She's so cute. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ready for her nap? I You're know. Ready for your nap? Yeah. Yeah. She's so oh. cute all the time. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And she's fast asleep. So nice and warm with the lights. Yeah. 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 Oh yeah. I think it was a little warm for some. Yeah. She got low too. Huh? She gets scared real easily, like by sounds or um, if I move something, she just like her arms like go way out to the side <laughs> and she shakes. She's like. Yeah, that's that startle reflex thing. Yeah. <laughs> they do that. Yeah. And if you rub her mouth right here, she'll. Oh, yeah. That's what she said. Yes. 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 With her, with the formula. Oh yeah. She. Um, this one's tough. At nighttime, when she has the formula, 
I have to give her gas drops in the formula because otherwise her stomach gets rock hard. hard. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then she just fusses and fusses and I have to like rub it and stuff like that. She's letting all her gas out today though. <laughs> yeah. It's the first thing she did when she woke up. I, know. I was <laughs> gonna mention also <gasps> that oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna mention also that um, <clears throat> thank you. That um, that when you have a premature baby, also your milk's a specialized. Your milk mm -hmm. also automatically has um, has a like higher weight. fat content. Mm -hmm. Weight mm -hmm. it so it helps your baby gain weight. Yeah. And I thought that was so amazing. Isn't that that, it, that yeah. you know your milk is specialized for that mm -hmm. for, for your baby's needs. And as your baby grows and changes, your milk changes also. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. I would try what Olivia said and, and maybe nurse longer and see if that yeah. helps with her. Or after you waking. nurse, pump a little bit, pump for an extra five minutes, okay. and uh, that will tell your body that you need to make more milk. Mm. Yeah, okay. That's a good idea. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's um, so used to the breast milk that when she eats the, uh, the formula at the time, she would not eat the uh, rice starch, the infamil, by itself. I have to mix the soy with it, a little bit with it, because the soy is sweet mm -hmm. and the rice cereal is not. And she's used to the breast milk being sweet because yeah. she will not drink the, the formula without, you know, something mm -hmm. sweet in it. So it's like so expensive. I couldn't imagine her eating that full time because <laughs> even with one bottle a night, those little cans go within no, like two weeks. Yeah. And they're gone, and they're like thirteen dollars for for one the little can. Mm -hmm. And I have to buy two of them because she's right. spoiled, and she won't eat the <laughs> one by itself. I have to mix them both together, so she'd be it's like twenty four dollars for yeah. a formula. She'd be pretty gassy if she mm -hmm. drank that all the time. Oh. Yep, mm -hmm. yep. Just at nighttime, and sometimes in the car. Mm -hmm. Like if I'm I'm driving and she's in the car with me, and I can't, you know, I can't like nurse her mm -hmm. and do everything at once because Sean works so I'm by myself a lot of the time and it's just it's way too hard and she just I don't know she fusses in the car sometimes so I always have like a bottle made right. in so case that mm -hmm. way you know because she does not like it in her car seat mm -hmm. <laughs> at all she gets mad in her car seat Hello. she's like get me out of here mom Hello. Yeah. <laughs> so that's the only way I can calm her down in the car so I've tried to just let her cry till I get home but she cries so hard that she is gasping for air. Mm -hmm. And I don't like her to get that upset because it's, it's too hard to calm her down. Once she's gotten that upset, she's like yeah. having a hard time breathing. <laughs> okay, yeah. so we're going to go ahead and wrap up. It's hard the being a baby. <laughs> we're going to go ahead and wrap up for the morning. Thanks for participating. And you guys have You're a great welcome. day. Thank you. Thank you, you too. too. Thanks. Thank you. Hello again. I hope you've enjoyed the show today. If you have any questions regarding information you've heard today or would like information about the WIC Nutrition Program, please call 1-800-280-1618. And do join us for other family health episodes in the future. The proceeding was a production of New Mexico State University. The views and opinions in this program are those of the author and do not necessarily represent the views and opinions of the NMSU Board of Regents.